Hey guys, Beth the Whimsy Bee here. In this video, I want to talk about how to make embroidered eyes. Embroidered eyes are super easy to make. They're super cheap because you used yarn instead of having to buy safety eyes. And they're perfect for baby gifts or um, anything made for a small child. So, on this pattern, I'm ready to add my eyes. I've already marked where they're supposed to go according to the pattern. So, I will tell you this. When you add uh, embroidered eyes, keep in mind that this is where you're supposed to insert the post of a safety eye, okay? So, the safety eye is round, so it will go up above and below that mark. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the stitch above the mark and the stitch below the mark. So insert in part of the head that won't be showing. So I'll be doing a hat. And so I'm gonna insert it up here. And you want to use black. I'm using acrylic. When you're doing a plush doll, you can use the plush yarns uh, to make your safety eyes and they look beautiful. I just prefer acrylic because I don't like the shedding of the plush yarn when I'm doing eyes. Okay, so there's where the mark was. So I'm going to go down to this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep sewing stitches in the same two places okay so i'm just going to go in and out in and out probably six to eight times and i like to kind of line mine up instead of crossing them over And scoot it over. I like to scoot it over next to the last one. So that's three. This is four. See, it's shaping up. And then one more. And this is going to be my last one. So instead of coming back out in this one, I'm going to come out over here above this mark. one up there pull it perfect okay and then I'll do this one the same way Okay, so this is the last stitch. So I'm going to go back through and over to that other side. And I'm going to come out So here's the stitch that I was working in. I'm going to come out in this one, which is one stitch over 
from the one you were working in, okay? Make sure I line this last stitch up. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're ready to get all fancy. So I'm gonna make some eyelashes, but I wanna wait. First, I want to make the little eye accents on the edge of the eye and the little catch lights. So with that, you want white. Now I will say this, if you want to add a little color on this part, you would do it first with a colored yarn around, and we're gonna be making it right here. And then you would add the white on the outside of it. But I'm not doing a color on this one. So I'm gonna insert my yarn in a different spot. And I'm going to come out at the bottom in that same hole that you did all the eye stitches in, okay? And then you just go around the edge of the eye and you're going to go in that same hole. You're going to go through the doll, come out that same hole. Whoops. And then as you pull this one tight, make sure it's on the outside edge of the eye. Then you're gonna insert it in that same one. And then this time, you're gonna come out in that top hole. Okay. Now to do the catch light, it's just going to go from this top stitch about halfway down, so about right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the doll and come out about halfway down on the other side to make the other side catch light. Then you go back into that same stitch and then come out the same stitch at the top as you went into. And there we have the eye accents all completed. Okay, so to finish it off, you want to give it a little tug. Okay, see how this one's kind of, well, this one's kind of loose. I want to tighten it up a little bit, so I'm going to come over here and grab it. And I'm just going to Oh, I had quite a bit of slack in there. I didn't even know it. So I pull the slack out of it. And then pull the slack out of this one. And there you have it. So then you tie these two ends together in a double knot. And then I'm gonna, I actually don't even need to hide them because this is gonna be covered, but I'm gonna show you how to hide them just in case. So this is a kind of a short piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and insert my needle back into that same hole. And then I'm going to squish them all the ends up here and thread it in my needle and then you just go through the stuffing and come out in a different part of the head and you pull it taut to pop that knot into the stuffing and then you pull it taut at the end trim close and done. Ooh, I got it way tight. So see how that's way tight? So what I need to do now is I just need to go back in here with my yarn needle and use it to pull those stitches back out. Okay. 
And there's two beautiful eyes. Now I need to do the fancy eyelashes. I'm going to re-thread my black. Now, I'm in this stitch that was one over from the main um, hole that we used. And I'm going to cross over that one. And I'm going to go one stitch over, one round down from the outside edge, okay? Right here. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this first and just show y'all. Look how sweet, what a sweet little innocent face it is. And we can stop right there. Or you can change up the look of your doll by how your lashes are. This one is actually going to be a girl, so I want to give her a little bit more, you know, ooh la la. So I'm actually going to do it a little different. And this is the fun part. I mean, you can experiment with different ways and see which one you like the best. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try this. I'm going to come out here and then I'm gonna take it up here so this is just the first stitch away from the eye I'm gonna try it see how I like it okay and then I'm gonna go back in here I'm doing another pass over the top of the eye and then this time I'm going to come out straight to the side see I'm doing another pass because it didn't quite cover up the white so I'll make it a little thicker all right let's see how this is gonna look so I'm gonna go ahead and take it through So that gives my little girl a little ooh la la. Now let's see if we can do that again. So I went one stitch away. And then one up at a diagonal. And then go back into that one you just came out of back over here to the inside of the eye we'll make the second pass that one about got hid okay and then we're going to make another pass down and then we're going to go straight out from that point and use use your um, nails and your thumb to kind of guide your threads where you need them to go go back 
back into that point and then we're going to come out up here in the same hole that we went into in. Now it's important that you go into the same hole because if you miss it and you go to tie it and then thread it back through, it's not going to work right. Oh my goodness, look how sweet that is. She's got some fuzzes. Oh, that is precious. And then you just tie it off like you did the other one. Double knot. Then I'm going to just scoot this down thread this one in <laughs> I threaded on opposite directions sometimes I'm not the brightest crayon in the box but at least I'm colorful all right then you go back in that same hole come out a different spot of the head Pull tight, pull that tail all the way through. Pull tight again, snip, and done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and that is how you do embroidery eyes. Super easy, give it a try.